Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn what is a test case. So before we get into writing the test case and then executing the test case, it is very important to understand what exactly a test case is when we say uh, write a test case and then execute a test case, right? So that is why I'm trying to explain here what exactly is a test case. So till now we have seen all the uh, software testing related concepts in the previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched those tutorial, please go back to the playlist and watch all those concepts of software testing for, because from here on, I'll be doing more of a practical software testing. We'll be writing the test case for the, app, for the application or the functionality. Then we'll be writing those test cases in Excel, then importing those into other test management tool and then executing those raising defects. So it will be more of a practical approach from here on. Now, but before we get into the practical approach or actually doing the software testing hands on, we need to understand what exactly a test case is and how you can write the test case. So let's first understand what exactly is a test case. Now, in very simple terms, test case is nothing but a set of steps that you write to verify the functionality of the application, whether the functionality is as per the requirement that has been given by the customer, right? So it's nothing but a set of steps or the procedure that you follow to verify a particular functionality in the application. Now, do not worry about much details of, you know, what exactly goes within the test case. I'll cover a brief of it, but in the next tutorial, when we cover how to write the test case, we will cover all those details in detail. So don't worry about those details in this particular tutorial. Focus more on answering the question, what exactly is a test case? So in simple term, it is the set of steps that you follow to verify the functionality of the application meet the requirement, right? So that's sort of definition. Then the next thing you need to remember about the test case is basically that it contains the um, input action and expected uh, response. So key information that is there within the test case is that you have you define the input or you define the steps that need to be followed and the expected outcome. So basically, if, you, if I do this particular action on the application, this should be the response. So this sort of information goes within the test case. All right. Now, I'll also explain what all key sections are there within the test case. So if you talk about the key sections or uh, what exactly the test case contains, the first important thing the test case contains is title, right? So you write the title of the test case what exactly you are trying to test second important thing is the description description of the test case so once you have the title then you write the description what exactly or in detail you describe what exactly that particular test case is going to test in the application right so say for example if i take an example of e-commerce website so um, in the e-commerce website we take a functionality of the login right so in the title i can say um, you know, title of the test case could be verify login uh, or verify successful login. Sorry. So we want to verify the successful login. So successful login with email account, right? So with valid email, I'll say valid email and password. OK, so if there is already a registered user and I want to verify that the user will be able to successfully log in with valid email and password if provided, then that is one of the test case title. That could be one of the test case title in the description. I'll describe uh, this whole thing in more detail. Right. So all uh, whatever the title is, I'll describe that more in the description. Uh, the third important thing is basically to describe or to provide the prerequisites, right? So if there are any prereqs before you can execute this particular test case, the prerequisite could be the user should be registered, right? So prereq is user should be registered already, okay? Because if user is not registered, how will you have that valid email and password? So user should be registered. That's one of the prerequisites. So if there is any sort of prerequisites, uh, let me write it full here. So requisites okay so any so any prerequisites need to go into the prerequisite sec section of the test case then a fourth important thing is about um you know the test data so is is there any 
data requirement test data right so usually test data in this particular case will be the username and password right so any test data so valid email so user username and password right so usually uh, what you do is which username and password needs to be used when a person is going to execute this particular test case so the valid username a valid email and password needs to be needs to be provided in this particular test case as test data okay so this is fourth piece of information that needs to go there within the test case the fifth very important information is about the test steps what steps a person needs to follow right so step number one you launch the website or you launch the e-commerce portal step number two you click on login link on the e-commerce portal right step number three enter the username and password that is present in the test data field and press login button right step number four verify you know step number four you verify that whether it's you know redirected to the um, home page or you you perform the step on the home page so these are some of the steps that can be uh, that need to be there in the particular test case and along with the test steps you also write the expected you know outcome or expected result right so that's another important expected result so when somebody um, performs a particular step what should be the expected result in that particular case right so that is another important information that needs to go there in the test case okay so these are very important key information that needs to go in the test case right so we have understood what exactly is a test case and what all key information needs to be there in the test case now besides this information there is a lot more information that needs to be there in the test case right so these this is the key information that i am going to cover in this particular tutorial but all other information that needs to go into the test case i'll cover in the excel sheet in the next tutorial when we understand how to write the test case right so i'll cover all the information that is required and um, for writing the particular test case now this information is mostly mandatory in all of the all the test cases that is why i have covered all this particular information but other information uh, could be mandatory could be you know uh, optional depending on the type of the particular test case and the functionality that you are going to test right so we'll understand all those details in further tutorial so this is the key information you need to understand and remember from interview point of view okay so this uh, after this who writes the test case that's another you know important thing you need to remember so test case in software testing will be written by the test engineers okay so anybody working within the test team uh, qa test engineer test lead all the person or the people write the test case so it's the responsibility of the testing team members to write the test cases for the functionality that you are going to test all right then we'll understand the importance of the test cases okay so why the test cases are important so importance of test cases so this is another very important thing to remember about the test cases so we have understood what is test case now why it is important because say for example you have functionality or you have requirement uh, one okay now this requirement has been developed by the developers it's available in the build it's deployed and it it came into the test environment okay so it's available for you to test in the test environment now you launch the particular application you directly started testing all the scenarios that are mentioned in this particular requirement based on the uh, requirement document so what happens is you go ahead and start testing which is very unorganized and uh, not the structured testing approach so in that particular case if you are not writing any of the test cases and scenarios to cover the requirement you might miss one or two test cases or you might miss one of the two one or two you know couple of functionalities uh, that need to be covered for that particular requirement but when you have the test cases documented and mapped to this particular requirement you know that the test case that you have written cover all the key functionalities that is defined within this particular requirement so traceability right so traceability is achieved 
so traceability i'll cover requirement traceability metrics in detail in another tutorial but uh, briefly traceability what it does is you verify whether the particular requirement has been covered by the test cases so say for example this requirement could have you know test case one two three four depending on how complex the requirement is there could be you know like n number of test cases and when you have written these test cases these test cases will in turn ensure that the requirement overall has been covered with these particular test case so traceability is uh, you know achieved when you write the test case so that's the first important thing to understand why the test cases are important then um, once you write the test case the other very important thing to note is you write the test case and those test cases are available to other team members right so for example i have written i am the team member i'm testing one of the functionality and um in the next iteration next sprint or next release somebody else is going to test that functionality so what they can do is they can directly go to the test management tool they can search for that functionality and for that functionality they can find these are the linked test cases right so one two three four whatever number of test cases have been linked to that particular functionality they can pick those up and they can go through those test cases because steps test data everything is mentioned in the test case they can directly pick those test cases and start executing those test cases because steps are mentioned the screen names and all the steps are mentioned how to navigate with the application so all that detail is mentioned in the test case they can directly pick the test case and start executing right so reusability is another important thing about the importance of the test case so traceability and reusability that's the very important aspect of or importance of the test case right the third thing is around the coverage which is again you know um, the traceability that we have covered so uh, if we have requirement one uh, requirement two so if we have written test cases and we have defined the traceability of the test cases uh, with the requirements right so we know that all the requirements are being covered with the testing right so if there is another requirement for which we don't have any test cases linked to that particular requirement we know that we need to basically um, you know link the test cases write the test cases for the requirement in order to ensure that particular requirement has been tested and quality is good okay so these are some of the important points that you need to remember uh, why writing the test cases is very important okay so traceability coverage requirement coverage um, and uh, then reusability is, is one of the key factors why test case writing is very important okay so that's pretty much all about this particular tutorial so we have understood what exactly is a test case what are the key sections within the test case and why the test cases uh, or writing the test case is important and who writes the test case in software testing project so that's all for this tutorial in the upcoming tutorial i'll explain how to write the test case and cover all the detailed aspects of writing a test case for a particular functionality with example so hope this was helpful and clear for your learning and interview purpose please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching